The title of this exhibition of my most recent body of paintings is Karasomi. And this can directly translate in Japanese to transience. It embodies the ancient Buddhist concept that, that all form, be that matter or thought or emotion, will inevitably dissolve through the passage of time. And of course the contemplation of the transient nature of all things is really nothing new. Philosophers have ruminated with this concept since the dawn of time. The ancient Japanese monks and artists and poets and seers not only acknowledged and embraced this idea, but they also perceived that the transient and ever-changing element of life holds an incredible beauty. This is a beauty which cannot be bought, cannot be owned, cannot be grasped, and a beauty which does not last. There is a, a poem by one of my favourite haiku masters, Basho, which so eloquently sums this concept up. Live in simple faith, just as this trusting cherry flowers, fades and falls. Doesn't that so beautifully capture the, the wisdom and the grace of being aware of but also applying the concept of transience. It seems like here in the West we get so heavily identified with the permanence of form, the permanence of thought and, and emotion, and perhaps that we could live in a more balanced way through the acceptance of, well, the popular Buddhist concept really, that this too shall pass. So rather than being lost in the world of things and emotions and events, remaining somehow detached and allowing our lives to unfold with grace. There is a term uh, that came from the ancient Buddhist culture in Japan called Mono no Aware. I do hope I've got that pronunciation right. But this term describes the awareness of the transients of things and of both a, a joy and intense appreciation, but also a gentle sadness at their passing. This term has been described as sensitive, exquisite feelings experienced when encountering the subtle workings of the human life or the changing seasons. This phrase speaks of a refined sensitivity towards the sorrowful and the transient nature of beauty. According to Mono no Aware, a falling or a wilting autumn flower is more beautiful than one in bloom, a fading sound more beautiful than one clearly heard. And the Sakura or the cherry blossom tree is the epitome of this concept of beauty. Well, they they explode in absolute beauty after the winter's doldrums, trumpeting life for only a few days before they die. Beauty is a subjective rather than objective experience, a state of being ultimately internal than external. Based largely in classical Greek ideals, beauty in the West is sought in the ultimate perfection of an external object of a sublime painting or perfect sculpture or an intricate musical composition. And this is a beauty which is said to be only skin deep. The Japanese ideal sees beauty instead as an experience of the heart and soul, a feeling for an appreciation of objects or artwork, more commonly in nature or in the depiction of nature, in a pristine and untouched state. Well, the paintings in this exhibition combine the influences of the ancient artwork of Japan and an understanding of Zen Buddhist philosophy and a contemplation of the transient nature of life. This body of work contains 
floral imagery such as cherry blossoms uh, as well as bees and birds and these all again symbolize the transient life of the natural world. Materials used in these paintings incorporate a collection of vintage Japanese fabrics, wallpapers, metallic leaf and foil, which I combine onto the canvas with screen printed areas uh, and paint and encaustic wax. As when the Japanese golden screens first appeared in the 14th century, they functioned as a background on which to paste painted fans or poem cards. Similarly, these paintings are a combination of both paper and material collage and painted areas. There are segments of these paintings which appear that they have aged over time. Tarnish and wear and decay also represent the transient nature of passing time. Areas of space represent that which has passed before or that which is yet to come. They suggest a magical, alive dimension of true beauty beyond the 3D form that we as humans so heavily identify with. These paintings are material objects that depict an image which arose from the essence and at which, at their highest function, I'm hoping, will offer the viewer a window to their own eternal essence within.